It's hard to talk uh, about education today without talking about COVID-19. We are coming together to discuss creative solutions to the challenges which the pandemic has highlighted. Challenges such as learning losses, social inequality, and the impact on mental well-being. And we will discuss solutions which clearly place the learner at the heart of education. Now is the time. If we don't do something about it, this generation has been scarred and will pay the price of it for a long time. But nations will also pay the price because the labor force of nations are going to take a hit in terms of the quality of their workers in the future. We are doing teaching at the right level to really provide the immediate solution. But I think the long run solution is to think about why do we need such a fast paced curriculum for young children? Why can't it be such that the context within which our teachers teach, our parents, you know, bring up children and our schools deliver this is all at a place where everybody can handle it. We need to create deliberate and intentional spaces for uh, students to collaborate, for teachers to collaborate. It's one of the hallmarks of high performing education systems that you have, you know, a combination of professional autonomy and a collaborative uh, culture among teachers, but even at the system level. You know, our schools all operate in isolation. And they are not, you know, knowing what's going to happen in the school uh, uh, down the street. So I think uh, that is a, a system's question that we really need to address. You can't really cooperate unless you know what you are cooperating on. And I think that's where the sustainable development goals come in. Right, the UN 17 SDGs. So we must use these as areas, as spotlights, as the operating ground for cooperation. You should be active, not a passive learner. Engaged, not distracted. Meaningful, not dis disconnected. It's better when we learn in social environments. We can learn solo, but we learn so much more with other people when it's iterative and when it's joyful. Let me join the others in congratulating the uh, uh, Yidan Laureates 2021. They have brought us to the frontiers of education, research, and education development. It is obvious that education cannot stay as it is. But education is such a strong institution. Right? It takes a long journey before it can really change to cope with the new society. Let's reimagine the future. A future where teachers and schools place learners at the heart of education. A future where innovations bring new and impactful change. This is a future we can create. In a world we will all be very happy to be part of. Together, we can create a better world through education. Thank you.